Aloha. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this Think Tech commentary, submitted by Peter Rossegg, which we are calling What to Do with Your Outrage. If you are not already outraged by the prospects of the 2024 election, you should be. Robert Reich, one of my most esteemed commentators, recently wrote, Do me a favor right this moment. Take a deep breath and consider what you're doing with your outrage. Outrage on its own is exhausting. It can also lead to two disempowering states, despair and cynicism. He has some suggestions for what you can do with your outrage. I will summarize. Become more politically active. Consider phone banking, political contributions, and calling friends and relatives in key states. Counter lies with truth. When you hear a lie, correct it. For this, you need to arm yourself with facts, logic, analysis, and sources. Do not tolerate anyone's bigotry or hate. Stand up to it. Denounce it. Do not bully, intimidate, be violent, or use any other tactics Trumpers use. We cannot save democracy through anti-democratic means. Be compassionate toward hardcore Trump followers, but firm in opposition. Put your effort into those who still have open minds. Don't waste time complaining. Don't gripe about how awful Trump and his Republican enablers are, or how ineffective Biden and Democrats are in communicating this. Ask everyone you know to vote for Biden and not sit out this election or vote for a third-party candidate. Even if they are tired of the lesser of two evils, we must all vote for Joe Biden. He is not perfect, but Trump and his henchmen are truly evil and have made their vile intentions clear. Do not confuse demonstrating for political action. Standing on a corner with a sign saying, honk if you hate fascism, doesn't accomplish anything. Organize people who don't normally vote to go for Biden. Mobilize get-out-the-vote efforts. Get young people involved. Ignore the latest outrageous Trump outbursts, which the media loves. Survival of American democracy during one of the greatest stress tests in our history, organized by one of the worst demagogues we've ever seen, is too important. Easy, right? Okay, not easy. Please use your outrage. Think for a moment about the Germans who knew Hitler was dangerous but did nothing or not enough to stop him. Check out robertreich.substack.com or robertreich.org. You will thank me. And thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this Think Tech commentary submitted by Peter Rossegg, which we are calling What to Do with Your Outrage. Aloha.